National Pig Day. Hi, Dr. Jill. Always Hi, nice Paul. to see you. So tomorrow's <laughs> National Pig Day. Has this been going on for a long time and nobody told me? Uh, yeah, from what I understand, for quite some time. Okay. Not, right. not maybe even past 20 right. years or so. Let's see the beast as we start talking about National Pig Day. This is Nehemiah. What uh, what brand of pig is Nehemiah? Nehemiah is a pot belly pig. He's okay. a neutered male. He's about a year and a half old, and he's owned by Maury. I was doing. Hi, Maury. Thanks for bringing uh, Nehemiah down. I was doing my homework. It's important to neuter the males. Like they're fertile, like two months after they're born. They, yes. They get with it. Yes, so, they do. And, and they're they, much better behaved. They when they're, smell yeah. really bad. Okay. Now look look <laughs> what Maury's got in her hand. This is a camellia flower. Yes. If you love the camellias in your yard, you might want to not want to turn loose your pig because they're delicious. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They root, and that's what they do. They uh, fortunately, you can keep them keep them in your yard by low fencing. You don't uh, really you need go. high fencing, but the rooting part is how they get out. So watch yeah. your plants. Uh, they make excellent pets. Tomorrow's National Pig Day, so Yee. we thought we'd bring a piggy on. I, let's have a frank discussion about the uh, how good a pet it is. Can I potty train my pig? Absolutely. Ten times smarter than a dog, if you can. Really? Yeah, they're amazing. They're very fastidious and clean. People think they're dirty, and they're not. Maury, can I just talk to you? How long have you had Nehemiah? Uh, approximately a year. Now, have you had doggies before this? Yes, he lives with three doggies. Oh, so <laughs> we have three dogs. What's the difference between owning a pig versus dog? Um, they're way smarter, but they're more stubborn. It's like having a toddler. But how do you know he's smarter? He's learned things way faster than the dogs. It took him 48 hours to be housebroken versus <laughs> oh, really? a week for the dogs. Wow, yeah, I'll yeah. take that. Uh, two days to housebreak. Okay, uh, what are some things we need to know to be a wise pig uh, owner? Well, they do need vaccinations, of course, sure. and we also check a stool sample every year. They're prone to parasites because they eat off the ground, of yeah. course. We want to make sure they get the proper diet. A lot of people make the mistake of giving them just grain, and then they get huge. Yeah, so. well, and I do want to talk about the size because when we first started hearing about pot belly pigs, everybody thought, oh, I'm going to have a little pig. It's going to be the size of a dachshund. That doesn't really happen, does it? It does not happen, no. If you keep feeding them, they get exponentially larger. They can grow up until they're three to four years of age. Wow, so, so Nehemiah might still get a little bigger. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, there's bigger dogs out there, so I, I get that. I'm afraid we're almost out of time. It just get last words of wisdom. If somebody really thinks I might like to own a pig, what would you tell them? I would say go online, research. There's a ton of pot belly pig organizations now, websites, and rescues as well. Oh yeah. And, you yeah, know, meet people that have one. Go and see them. Spend time with them because they are a commitment. Yeah, sure. And by the way, more I, earlier I heard you ask and had to give you a kiss. Can we get one more kiss before we go? No kisses. Oh, that is that is very sweet. It's kiss the pig day tomorrow, Bethany. <laughs> Um, Nehemiah needs to come back in studio and serenade us once again. We enjoyed his visit. To schedule an appointment with Dr. Jill, check out our website, drjyl.com, or give her a call. The number is there on your screen, 916-989-0738.